friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today we are going to talk about something spooky. In honor of the spooky season, Halloween is just around the corner. We're gonna talk about dark, goth, spooky-ish, maybe kind of plants. I love Halloween time. I love black. Uh, for a really long time, I would say that that was my favorite color, even though some people don't say it's a color. We'll get over that. Just like I like black clothes, I like black plants or dark foliage plants. Of course, I like green plants too and other colors as well, but it feels good when you can just like find a plant that satisfies the darkness within your heart. So I'm gonna be sharing with you today some of my favorite dark plants. I know I'm not the first person to do this. I actually got this idea from Pam's Pretty Plants because I saw her video. And I think Nick from Philly Foliage did one as well. And if you want to watch their videos, I will link them down in the description below. But I had some different plants to add to that list as well. So ha ha, I'm gonna do one too because I like dark plants, so. So first up, we have this Philodendron Black Cardinal. Just look at that insane black foliage. It is so freaking dark. And it's got like kind of burgundy-ish stems in there and super dark, nearly black leaves, hence the name Black Cardinal. Makes a lot of sense. It is a pretty easy philodendron to take care of. I haven't had that many issues with it. It does like a little bit of boosted humidity, otherwise the leaves get stuck in the petals. Petals? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, so if you don't give it humidity, the leaves can get a bit stuck and do that like weird sausage looking thing. That sounds really weird, but I'll put up a picture because then it'll make sense. But give it some mists, put it next to a humidifier. Should be fine. Plant number one, Philodendron Black Cardinal. Dark plant number two is this gorgeous Alocasia Black Velvet. So this is just a tiny baby one. I just got it and it doesn't even have a decorative pot yet because literally it is brand new. I unboxed it the other day on my IGTV. If you wanna go look at that, head over to my Instagram. But I love these little alocasias. Their leaves are just so, they're like kind of a velvety texture, but like stiff. And I love the contrast in the like really light veins compared to the super dark flesh of the leaf. They're just so beautiful and funky, but yeah, it's just a bit showy. It just like, it's, it dazzles me. I get like entranced into the blackness of its leaves. And I know alocasias can be a bit finicky, but if you provide them the right environment, they will be fine. They might go into a bit of dormancy, but they can pop back up from that. So that's not really an issue for me. Like my alocasia poly went through this big long journey and it died back to like a single leaf and it was really sad. But if you just keep treating it right and like giving it the proper like warmth and moisture and light and stuff, they will come back. They, it's, it's not a goner, even if you think it might be, unless it's got root rot then you're screwed. I just love the way their leaves look, the shape. It's like a nice shield shape which I find really attractive. And it's even, this one's got a new leaf coming in there. Um, and it's kind of got a bulb there sticking out, which might grow. Um, it's kind of surprising me, but you know, that's what plants are for, fun surprises. Yeah, so alocasia black velvet, dark plant number two. I am going to show you another alocasia, this one, might be a little bit of a stretch, but I think it is a lovely dark plant, so. This is an Alocasia Red Secret, or Cupria, I believe. And I know you could say it's not black, it's just like a really, really dark red, but none of these plants were actually like black, were they? They're just like a really, really dark green. So really, really dark red, I'd say it counts. Just look at this like gorgeous dark foliage, like a super dark red wine color and it's shiny and it looks like a dragon scale. I, I count this as goth. Like if it gives this much contrast against the white background, goth dark leafed plant, if I do say so myself. This is another alocasia, so again, it could be a bit finicky, but I've had nothing but good luck with this one so far. I got it, I 
think in like April from online baby plants and it has just been growing so, so well. Like I've had two new leaves since I got it. This leaf is a brand new leaf. That's why it's a bit shinier. And then this one here is also a new one. So it's just been really good. It's a bit floppy right now. I think it's cause I've moved it. So it's throwing a tiny bit of a tantrum, but it'll sort itself out. <laughs> it has to. It's basically black. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. It's black foliage. Even though it's called Red Secret. Shh. I think it's spooky enough to be counted in my like Halloween dark plants video. The leaves on this are almost iridescent. This one's kind of hard to show because it's so glossy, but like you can see it shifting a little bit between like the dark red and the black and the green in there. It, it's just stunning. It's, it's stunning. Next up is this beauty here. I'm gonna grab it. It's gonna be a pain, but I'm gonna grab it. Oh. This insane thing is a Ficus Elastica Black Prince. It's got some really dark foliage. I mean, it's called a Black Prince, so. But this is like a, a, a massive statement piece. In my house, it is one of my bigger plants. It's got actually like three stalks in here, but they're pretty big, like the size of my torso, the leaves are the size of my head. It's just a beauty. I just love how big and beautiful it is. I have found that this one is a bit of a slow grower in my house. I don't know if it's just because it takes a while to like warm up to a new environment. By while, I mean like a couple of years. I'm hoping that's what it is but I have only had a couple of new leaves since I got it. Each of the sprouts has given off one new leaf. And since then it's just been like chilling. I'm hoping it adjusts in time. It like, I'm sure it will. Like I gave it pretty good conditions. It's getting medium to bright indirect light all day. I might move it a little bit closer to the window. So it's getting bright, bright, bright indirect light. Maybe a tiny bit of sun cause they can handle a little bit of sun in a day. Not like a lot hard, intense sun all day but a couple hours in the morning or the afternoon isn't gonna hurt them, especially if it's dappled or filtered. These are a great plant and great for, if you want a dark plant that can handle a little bit more light. Cause usually dark plants need less light because they're darker, they have more chlorophyll and they can just handle getting less light cause it absorbs more. But this one, can be in a bit of a brighter location. So that's good. All right, I'm gonna put it back now. It's it's freaking huge. Like, what is this? Okay, next up is this Anthurium clarinervium. I think that's how you pronounce it. A lot of Anthuriums I've seen have had quite green foliage. Some a bit darker than others, but I feel like this is close to black. Like, if black velvet counts as black, I'd have to say that this does too, cause they're very similar in like dark color, it's especially because of the contrast of the like really stunning, like light veins in there. They provide like an amazing contrast, which is brilliant. This one is a little bit more of a picky plant. I think they do like quite a lot of humidity. So if you can't provide that, it's probably not the plant for you. If you can, they are honestly absolutely stunning. I just love their foliage. They have like such beautiful heart shaped leaves. Like this is literally a heart. If I were gonna draw a heart, it'd be this one. This one's leaves are pretty velvety as well. Like they're quite a matte texture in there. They're so soft. I don't touch them very often because I've got softer plants. And to be honest, I don't like stroke my plants all that often. Like I do sometimes because they are soft, but like don't go around just like, you know, a nice dark plant for all of you tropical plant lovers. So last, but certainly not least, we have the good old ZZ Raven. This amazing, beautiful Zamiococca Zamifolia plant in black, which is insane. I say this is probably the blackest plant in my collection. Its leaves are, I think, as close to black as you could get. 
I mean, not when they're new, and when they're new, they're like literally neon green, but when they're old, they are essentially black, which is awesome. I think this was the first black plant that I got. I got it specifically because it was black. It started my obsession with goth plants. But yeah, this one's also really great because it can handle like essentially neglect. It does not like much water. It does not like to be repotted all that often. It likes to be root bound. And it doesn't mind sitting in a dark corner. So like, it is the perfect low maintenance dark house plant. Like what better can you ask for than this? It is, it's, it's an easy one. The easiest black plant that I have in my collection for sure. And it just has like really striking foliage. This one is pretty large as well. Like essentially the size of my torso, sorry, it's stabbing me in the face. It was mad at me for leaving it in the dark. It grows fairly slowly as well especially if you do put it in the dark. If you're okay with that, then this is the plant for you. Oh, I've got a tiny, tiny little new bit. Oh my God, I haven't seen that. Oh, this is so cute. Do you see that right there? Oh my God, it is tiny. It is absolutely adorable. I think I've never seen this before. So this must be really, really new. It doesn't look like a new stem that grows like this. Maybe it's a new tuber. Oh, that's well exciting. Okay, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> get so excited about my plants, especially the dark ones. So that's it. That is my favorite dark foliage plants just in time for Halloween. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found some nice gothic house plant inspiration. Leave a comment below of your favorite dark plant of my collection or in your own collection. I am always looking out for more dark plants. So show me what you got. Tell me what you got. Send me a picture on Instagram of what you got. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up down below and comment on other things you'd like me to talk about planty wise and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. I keep trying to do this with like really small leaf plants and it, it doesn't work. I should have saved like the anthurium or something for that because I could have just like right up against the camera. No, I picked this one. <laughs>